What was the most difficult role you've ever played doing voiceovers, and how did you get into that character? Uh, you know what? Banana Guard number one from, from, uh, from Adventure Time. I swear to God, it was supposed to be a one-off, one-off gig. You know, just, you know, it's, it's me doing my impression of Penn Ward as the lamp-based bass player says, oh my God, and it, it, I had to do a video game for like an hour and a half, two hours of doing stuff, and I, I almost swallowed my own throat. So that was, I only thought it was supposed to, you know, just be really quick. A little, he only shows up every once in a while, and, and then they had me doing two hours of gameplay, and ah, ah, it was really, that was my hardest day. But everything else has been a cakewalk. No, I'm not, that's not true either. Uh, I don't know. Help me. Help me, Nolan North, help me. Let it go. I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Where am I? Where are you? Do you know so what was the most difficult day or, or character? character in a video game. And how did you prep for that? Or anything, really? In a video game. Okay, well the most difficult day that I had was, uh, was, was no. The most difficult day I had was uh, was early in my career was uh, Call of Duty 2, Ooh. and I was Sergeant Randall, uh, and you and it was so cool. I was so jacked about it because I, I always loved the history of World War II, and don't this ask, is the guy, tell. the Sergeant Randall was the. Uh, now this, hey, these are vets. Okay, these, are, these are these are the good ones. The okay, okay, oh, they're, they're not good. them hippies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, and it was like you storm Normandy with Sergeant Randall. You got to follow him up, and uh, but it was early, and I had no idea. With the and I had to, you know, all yelling, and I had the script, and I went through it, and I yeah, and I got through it. And they said, okay, now we're gonna bring you in the second half, what? and I was like, what? And it was the only job I've ever had uh, that I lost my voice. Like the next day, I I couldn't do anything because I mean it was gone. It was just uh, and I from that day forward, I said I got to learn how to yell. Yeah. If you're gonna do video games, you got to learn how to yell from the diaphragm, not the fun one, kids. <laughs> this one, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Troy Baker's hair. Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you. I want to talk about this. Why does it have that voice? Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> you picked it. Why do I smell elderberries on your hair for some reason? <laughs> hey, um, it smells good. What does it smell like? It smells like it took a bath in rainbows and cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite line. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> she did that. Anyway. Um, Thanks. Along along those lines, kind of same thing. Hardest day I've ever had was uh, on Brothers in Arms um, on Hell's Highway, which was the last one. Uh, and I did the same thing. I was like, I took that that script of like callouts, and because everything was like Miller, get over here, get over here, you know. But uh, that or that voice, but but you you like you start attacking that script like you're taking that hill, <laughs> dick. <laughs> like you're taking that hill and then you get like you know, a page at a time and a half a page at a time and then like two lines at a time and I ended up like on the floor and I'd like permanent damage my voice it's you're right you have to learn how to scream and, like physically that's one of the hardest things you have to do but then there's the whole thing with, with now with like with performance capture it's 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 us actually doing this you know it's not just a voice it's it's just like you would do a TV and films it's not really it's no voice acting is kind of going bye bye that term it's more just about acting and like the, if you played The Last of Us, the the, the Sarah Dye scene is, is one of the worst days of my entire life, because um, it just it emotionally cost us something. So that's that's really where everything's kind of going is is that level of participation. So every day is the worst day of my life. Is that what I'm saying? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Play it. laughs> <laughs> Sophie! Sophie! <laughs> Sophie! I like painting the walls red. <laughs> Kikush! Oh, this is Kelsey oh. Alka. No, no, Noel's out. out. Done. <laughs> Done. So, if someone, if you guys, if 15 years ago someone came and said video games are going to be the biggest thing, they're going to rival television and movie voiceover. I would have told them to kiss my ass! <laughs> no, we're doing well. Yeah, like, what, what would you guys would have said to that? If they said gonna, video games are going to be the future, and you've been like, what, what have you guys thought about that? Um, I, I would have believed them. Yeah. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I think that technology and the love for uh, advanced D and D has really helped games. I've always said that that if it wasn't for the like you know the the first video games and people's passion for playing Dungeons and Dragons, video games would not be what they are, or Gamble World, or any of those, any of those great, you know, uh, role-playing games, 
Um, I, 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 I knew it was coming, and, and, it's, and it's here, and it's here in full effect, and it's just, it's just mind-blowing. And I'm happy to participate. Uh, I've never been able to predict stocks or, you know, outcomes of basketball or football games. You can ask my book. But uh, the one thing that I think I did right is uh, I was one of the first people outside of, like, stunt actors to do motion capture. Uh, it was a game years ago with Sony, and, and I remember a bunch of friends telling me, why are you doing that? Why are you going to get in that suit? And that's ridiculous. And I would say, I, I think they're gonna, a lot of these are going to do it this way. And here we are today. It's the one thing that I've, I've gotten right. And, and it was good because taking those jobs that people would take at the time, because, you know, it didn't pay that well at first, but I just thought this was going to, you know, get as much experience in this as I could. And that ultimately led to me getting you know, the Uncharted job as Nathan Drake. And, you know, that's pretty much changed my life. I, I don't think I'd be here without that game. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that's it. There's nothing else I can add to that. No, that's, that's exactly right. This, I, I completely believe. Oh, what, there's, and that, that's the camera. Yeah, that, yeah. You okay? You okay? Can I say hi to my mom? No, stop. <laughs>